I wanted to make a quick, I wanted to make a quick, easy meal. So I pre the, preheat the oven to 400. As you can see, it's warming up now. I got some turkey burgers that I've seasoned with salt and pepper. And I've got a Mrs. Smith blackberry cobbler. I'll show you the box. So that's the box. And the cobbler calls for 400 degrees for 60, 55 to 65 minutes. So I'm gonna put the turkey in on the same temperature and cook them together. When the turkey comes out, I'm gonna uh, saute some onions and gravy and finish cooking them in that. Some yellow rice and some french style green beans so i'll show you how i do that okay as you can see i put the uh blueberry cobbler and the turkey patties in the oven i actually have a timer and i call it a second timer bake time so my bake time is set at a, an hour and five minutes and the timer did i cut it off Oh, I turned it off. Set for 15 minutes. And since I just did it, I'm going to put it on 15 minutes again. And that'll be for the um, turkey patties. So I'll check them in 15 minutes. They don't have to cook all the way because they're going to cook some more in the gravy. So let's let that cook for 15 minutes and then we'll check back in. I just turned the timer off. 15 minutes the patties have been in the oven. I'm gonna dice up the onion. And I'm also gonna use some leftover bell peppers that I have in the... I'm also gonna use some leftover bell peppers that I have in the refrigerator, fresh ones. I'm gonna use them before they go bad. Slicing these up thin. Okay, probably too many. I'll probably use half of that. Put the other half in the Ziploc. And I had these little bell peppers left over from the other day. I'm going to throw those in too. I heated a cast iron skillet with a little less than a quarter cup of water until the water was boiling. Now I'm going to add my bell peppers and onions. last of those bell peppers. have many green ones so I'm gonna grab just a handful that I had frozen in the Little bit. Oh, the smell of those onions and peppers. They smell so good. While that's cooking, I put the gravy in one cup of water. 
and I'm stirring it with a fork to get it separated. The recipe actually says to add whisk in the gravy pack into a cup of cold water in a saucepan. But I didn't read the directions, so I, I'm improvising. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to do two packs of gray because I got six patties. Onion smell good. Got my hamburger patties. As you can see, they're not ready, but that's good because they're gonna cook in that gravy. And the two will sh shall become one. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? So good. Okay. So we'll add the first cup of gravy. And then I'm gonna make the second one. Again, you take a I've taken a pack of brown gravy mix. What brand you use is up to you. This is the this is the Walmart brand that I picked up, and I'm gonna whisk it with this fork until I get the lumps out. Pour the rest of that gravy on there. Oh, that looks so good. It smells good. Now, I have it on high. I'm going to turn it down on medium low. I haven't added any seasonings. I'm going to add a little garlic powder. And a little onion powder. Now this garlic and onion powder is a powdery one, not grainy, but a powdered one. Normally what you would add to beans or something like that, that would uh, help thicken them. This is getting thick, so I'm gonna add some water to it. All right, I added another cup of water. We're gonna put the lid on it, let that warm back up, cause I added that cold water. Now, we can get started on the rest of the meal. It's not very often that I use canned um, veggies, but I am tonight. I'm putting 
two pans of French style string beans uh, in the sauce pan. I'm going to bring them to a boil and then add a little butter, salt, and pepper. And I'm also boiling water in here. That's three cups of water. And two and a quarter cup of rice will go in that water once it boils. Now that the water's boiling, we're gonna add our rice. You're gonna add a tablespoon of butter or margarine. And then two and a quarter cup of yellow rice. Don't feed the stove like I did. Now you just bring the rice to a boil. Once you bring it to a boil, turn it down on low and let it simmer for 20 minutes and it's good. A lot of times I don't even have to stir it again, you guys. Like I love the way this rice cooks. It's cooks perfectly. You can find this rice in water. This time I got mine in um, Sam's, but you can find it in Walmart too. Probably just about anywhere. All right, now that we've brought it to a boil, we're going to cut it down on low. Give it a stir. Put the lid on. Those string beans are getting ready to boil. I can see them coming. I added a little butter. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in them. Just a little. You don't need much. I like a lot of pepper though. Give it a stir. Put the lid on and turn it on low. Let's check on the uh, meat. It was trying to stick earlier and I just want to make sure it's not sticking. Looking good, smelling good. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. I say a little, but y'all know I put a lot of pepper. Get those seasonings a little stir. Mm. 